In this video, we install Windows Server 2022 on Azure. As you can see, we start our journey at portal.azure.com. We will use virtual machine to uh, start our installation. Uh, first of all, uh, let's do search in a search bar search for virtual machine click here now we are in virtual machine let's create a new one Azure virtual machine subscription is chosen automatically from what you already have resource group it will be created new resource group or you can uh, choose uh, the existing one is virtual machine name we will uh, write uh, windows uh, 2022 server the important part we need to choose uh, image and uh, what image to choose here we have a limited amount of images um, let's go and see all images in all images basically we need windows server you select and here you need to choose one of uh, multiple versions of windows 22 server we go uh, down to see the multiple versions as you can see we have a uh, windows server data center general uh, generation one and generation two generation uh, one uh, provide uh, more capabilities and uh, it's uh, bios based also we have a small disk and uh, small disk generation one but um, now you know where to choose different versions and we will go ahead with a data center generation one that's required to provide the name for administrator let's say that it will be Adam here we need to add password as you can see password uh, should be at least 12 characters long and um, one lower ca uh, characters, one upper, and uh, one number and one special character. Uh, let's do it. Uh, I just prepared the password beforehand. Now that is ready. Inbound port. You will need uh, to 3389 to connect to your server after it is created. Let's go next. Disk. Uh, basically, uh, we will um, accept the defaults. Next, networking, we will also accept it. Management, next, monitoring, next, advanced also next and uh, the last step is review and create as you can see it's about uh, 20 cents an hour and uh, let's go and create our windows 22 server
Deployment in progress. It looks like deployment succeeded. And here we have go to resource button. We'll use RDP to connect to public IP address of the server. Uh, yes, to connect to the server. As you can see, we are connecting to our server. Now we are connected and basically uh, here we are in the server manager. Let's close the pop-up. I would like to verify that we uh, have correct operation system and click on local server and here as you can see uh, we are with microsoft windows server 2022 data center thank you for viewing click like if you like it the video and see you in the next video